In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you a green gradient with four options. You can add some text here. And in the center, I've added one image. And when I click, it will show you the left four options with the icon and the title detail text. And when I click, it will show you the four options to the right. And I've added one more slide with only six options. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape. Click it here shape outline make it no outline then height and width i'm going to make it five align center align middle go to the view tab enable the guides then i'm going to cut this into four equal parts for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle draw a rectangle covering exactly the one quarter then shape outline make it no outline then select this shape hold the shift key select this one rectangle go to the merge shape and i'm going to select the intersect and for this i'm going to give a gradient fill right mouse click go to the format shape and select the gradient fill and here in the gradient fill i'm going to use two color combination so one color i'm going to use some dark green color and the one color other color i'm going to use some light green color all right and then you can just go to the radial instead of radial select the linear and then you can just change the way you want okay the direction then i'm going to hold the control shift key together and just drag this one to the right side and then rotate i'm going to make it rotate right 90 degrees okay now i'm going to select both these shapes hold the control shift key drag it down release the control shift key then and uh, then go to the rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this now depending on the requirement you can just change the direction the way you want you can see here if you want a different direction you can just change the direction whichever direction which you feel better okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this all the shapes press ctrl g to group it all right and again, I'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to insert one more oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. Depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, make it white. And I can increase the width to maybe to 2.5 or 3. Again, make sure to align center, align middle. And then you can go to the fill. I'm going to select the picture or texture fill. Uh, this is the image which I have added before. That's the reason it's showing here. If you want, you can just go to the insert and you can insert the image either from your local PC or from the stock images or from the icons. All right. So now I'm going to select this one. Go to the effects under the 3D format. I'm going to choose the bevel, which is round and then start increasing the width. So till it looks like a kind of a 3d effect okay you can see here it looks something kind of a 3d okay all right so once this is done what you can do is you can go to insert shapes scroll down and i'm going to choose the star from the stars and banners i'm going to choose the four point star draw star by holding the shift key reduce it the width you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white align center align middle alt and the right arrow key three times i'm going to press it and send this to back okay it looks something like this then go to the insert shape uh, draw a small oval shape a small oval shape by holding the shift key and put it here shape outline no outline shape fill again fill this with white and go to the insert text box you can insert the option number one center align make it bold use choose any font of your choice and color i'm going to give a darker green increase the size and put it here exactly in the center select both the shapes press ctrl g to group it 
hold the control shift key drag it here then select both these shapes hold the control shift key drag it down then this is the option number one i'm going to change to two this is three and this is four all right so you can see here this design is done then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw a small oval shape maybe this much size all right then shape outline make it no outline shape will make it white go to the effects under the shadow you can choose any preset so i'm going to choose maybe the bottom one then hold the control shift key add it towards the right side and make sure that if the equal spacing is being given then control d this is my second one all right i can just place it here and again hold the control shift key okay this is my second control d this is my third okay i'm going to insert only three and three six only so i'm going to select this one hold the control shift key and make sure that there is a equal gaps all right then you can go to the insert icons you can just choose any icons depending on the requirement either you can go and search or you can just randomly select few icons so i'm randomly i'm just selecting few icons here all right so one two maybe i'm going to choose uh, this one three four five and one more which i'm going to choose six and click insert move this aside here and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.7 and graphic fill i'm going to give the green color then put each option under the oval shape you can see here one by one you can just put it and make sure to do the proper alignment okay once this is done you can go to the insert text box and i'm going to type title again open sans semi bold or extra bold green font right more uh, right aligned okay and then i'm going to add some detailed text here add detail text in this placeholder all right again you can give a gray color right aligned reduce the font size choose the right font for your depending on the requirement align both select both the objects go to the align align right all right press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and put it here ctrl d put it here and then ctrl d sorry i'm going to choose this one again ctrl d bring it here select both the shapes align make it left home and align left all right so now i got this one press ctrl d for this here ctrl d and here and once this is done you can add some simple uh, basic animation effects to it